Linda, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, this is the first time I've heard, uh, I've even known about your show. Really? Really. How did you find out about it? Well, I came out to Seattle to meet somebody I had uh, met over the internet. Ah, where are you from? North Carolina. North Carolina, okay. But um, not originally from North Carolina either. Where are you originally from? I was born in Augsburg, Germany. I see. Mm-hmm. Um, so a little military action in the family there? Yeah, my dad's retired military. There we go. All right. Um, I'm a 24-year-old single mom. Mm-hmm. And I do agree with you about, uh, I do put my child first, number one. And I do agree on the fact that, um, you know, it can cause problems. Mm -hmm. But I, I've known guys out there that like children. But um, my biggest thing is, why is it that so many men out there think by their dick? That is how men think. But Why? There's more to a woman than her body. Why do we breathe in and out? There's a lot of intelligent women out there. And they That's creative. wonderful. But when we go out to a bar or a dance club, we're not looking to have a debate. We don't want to give you an IQ test. All we see is what we see. I always thought in a relationship that the communication was very important. We're not talking about relationships in this classroom. This is a class to teach men how to get laid. There may be a relationship classroom. It's probably down the hall somewhere. This classroom, we teach men how to get sex. Well, uh, Do you understand the difference between, between sex and a relationship? Yes, I do. You do. Well, we teach sex here. How to get it. You don't get it by giving a woman an IQ test. Some women look for that in the story. Look for what? Somebody they can have a conversation with. Well, that's great. A like us one-on-one student would blow that woman off. Are you offended by that? No. That's what we do. Because men want sex. I understand that. I agree that women get horny as well. Yeah, but the problem is, in your case, any man is going to come second to your child. So, nothing wrong. You're a single mom. Have at it. Have a good time. You made your decision. And that's your life. But the average guy doesn't want a ready-made family. The average guy doesn't want to be a surrogate parent. The average guy doesn't want to pay bills for your kid. And the average guy wants to get laid when he wants to and doesn't want to be limited to certain windows of opportunity. That's the average guy. I see your point. So, you know, all I do is teach about reality. Why does that, it seems to offend you. Well, it only offends me in the fact that I was brought here uh, to meet this person under false pretenses. How so? Well, he he obviously, you know, I told him that I had a daughter, and I told him how I felt about her. And I told him that, you know, she's number one in my life, in the story. And then when I get out here, you know, I told him communication was important to me. And then when I get out here, all he does is degrade me and, and then ask me for sex. Degrade you how? He's called me a bitch. He's called me that uh, stupid. Mm-hmm. Uh, and why did you go to meet someone you met on the Internet, if I may ask? I needed a vacation. So yeah, why didn't you go to Italy? Well, he was paying for it. Oh, he paid for it. So uh, we see, okay, now, now we got two problems here for a Likas 101 student. One is uh, you have a child who comes first. And two is that uh, if a guy pays your way, uh, then you'll cooperate with him. What kind of man do you expect to get when you let him pay for everything? A man you've never met before. I don't let him pay for everything. You let him pay the plane fare? What's the plane fare to come from North Carolina to Seattle? I don't know. Never asked. You don't even know. You don't have a clue? Would six or seven hundred dollars be a safe guess? What do you think? 
I think. I don't know. Why would a man... Now, let's be logical for a second. I know as a woman that's hard to do, Linda. But why would a man who's never met you before invest $700 in you? We had some good conversations on the phone. Um, he seemed like a likable person. Why? No, let's let's get down to brass. By the way, did he pay airfare for your child or was the child free? Child was free. Okay. Why would a man spend $700? He's never met you before. What kind of a man would do that? Well, he doesn't know you. He shows after I get here, he shows me his investments. Uh, he's very well off. You know, he can afford spending that kind of money. Uh -huh, but what kind of a man do you expect to meet? I thought I was going to meet a decent person. Why would you think that? Because the conversations we've had on the phone. I don't care I what conversations we've had. Let me tell you something, Linda. When I have been single, I would never, never pay $700 to fly a woman anywhere. Ever. Ever. Why would somebody pay $3,000 for a brand new transmission in my car and not ask a cent or nothing? Oh, did he do that too? No, he didn't. Somebody else did. Oh, I see. $3,000. Somebody else who didn't know you? Didn't even know me. The second day I talked to him... Oh, this is somebody, on uh, somebody else you on met on the internet. The internet I see. So you're a, go you're a gold, in essence, you're a gold digger. No, I'm not. Of course you are. Why would you agree to accept any of this stuff? I was going to school. I'm raising my child. I don't care. My car broke down. I didn't have the money. Well, you see, this is why I tell men not to date single mothers. Because that's exactly, you're a money pit. That's what you are. And not only that, you'd be guys are going to lay out the money, and then you're going to get guys who are going to say, well, you know, I paid your way. Now I can humiliate you. What do you expect? Good point. Why are you still there? I'm going back Saturday. Why are you still there now? There we go. She hung up. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. She's exact. Guys, I hope you've been listening, because this is what I tell you about single mothers. There it is right there. One guy gave her a $3,000 transmission. Who's charging $3,000 for a transmission, by the way? I've had work done on my car. I mean, what are you driving, a tank? $3,000 for a transmission. And then another guy spent $700 on a plane ticket, so she flies to see him. She's on the internet. It's like the price is right. I'm going to school. I'm raising my kid. I mean, that's the attitude. Now, certainly, a like this one-on-one -on -one student would not pay $700 to fly a woman anyway. So it can't be one of ours. But uh, what kind of a guy do you expect to get? That woman is a complete loon.